take me through the just do it, how it, what, what was Nike looking for, what were you looking for, how did it, how did it happen? Which is that? The, just, just, just do it. How the did line? It, yes. Oh, no, it was a throwaway, it was literally a throwaway deal. We had, um, it was their first big campaign, really. They, it's nothing these days where they're spending like 20 million or something on this campaign. And so we had a bunch of television spots done by a bunch of different creative people. And some of them were humorous, some of them were aggressive, some of them were heroic. And um, uh, they just didn't seem to hang together. They were shot by different people. So uh, I thought we needed to have some sort of tagline to hold it together. And I couldn't even sell people in the agency on the need for it. So we went out to Nike and I, and I had trouble selling them on the need for it. And I, I wasn't even sure of it, but I just thought it needs something that speaks both the runners we're talking to and super athletes. And the shock was that it, the people that told us that it worked was the audience. I mean, we started getting letters from people that had nothing to do with sports, but about how it had saved their emotional health. And I was like, holy cripes. Three words yeah. with a period. I know, I know. It's sort of odd. We always dreamed that we could be number one. Every time we, you know, put our name on a product, it's the best product that we could do. How did a sneaker company transcend sport to become a cultural icon? Darren Ravel reports Inside Nike premieres February 12th on CNBC.